everybody. Thank you for tuning back in to this week's uh, hot topic. We are gonna be going over reviews. So I hope you guys had a phenomenal week. Um, I'm trying to bring some value to the table and teach you a little bit about the technology that I've learned, trials and tribulations, so ultimately you can grow your business a lot faster than what it took me. Over here at Hubble Real Estate Group, so I am the CEO, owner, janitor, uh, manager, supporter, transaction coordinator, <laughs> Well, uh, pretty much working all behind the scenes to help the agents grow their business. So I've been getting a lot of feedback uh, regarding, hey Dave, how do I get my reviews? How do I get people to uh, review me so other people can see how wonderful of an agent and how good of a job I've done? Over here at Hubble, we use a company called Real Satisfied. This is something that we offer to our agents, but it's also something that the Pismo Board of Association Matrix offers as a free service. Differences, you wanna be in control of your branding of how that review is pushed out, which means the company you work for, you wanna be able to have the back end access versus if you're getting a free software, you're gonna have limited ability to do uh, things in the back end because ultimately your broker's not, not the one paying for it, you're getting the free service from the matrix. So over it here at Hubble, we pay for it, which then means I can pass on uh, back office software to you guys so you can play and tweak around with certain things and your branding of it. With that said, why do you get reviews? So with this day and age, everybody jumps on either Google, Facebook, um, Realtor.com, Zillow. You know, they're going out to all these companies and they're looking at what other people have said about you and how you do business. So getting five-star reviews and getting a lot of reviews, even if you don't get the perfect review every time, you're getting a pattern to show people, hey, I'm human, but I'm getting an A on almost all my transactions. I'm getting a 4.9 to a 5% on all my transactions. Uh, obviously, if you're getting reviews down in the 1%, things need to change. You don't wanna be putting those type of reviews out or ultimately you need to step your game up and do better in your business. So it helps you be accountable to your business and helps you be accountable to the general public and the general public can ultimately find the superstar agents out of the, the mass amount of people that have their real estate license. I'll show you a little bit of uh, tips and tactics that we've done over here at Hubble Real Estate to use this software real satisfied to the best of our ability. So why don't we jump right into that? All right guys, so here we are. Um, I pulled up the company we use. It's called Real Satisfied. That's a very common program. But ultimately you go to realsatisfied.com. We're gonna log in right here. First things first, you need to have a account set up. So if you haven't set up an account, you're gonna just um, have your broker or your, your Pismo Board of Association set up an account for you. I created a dummy account. All right, once you register, you'll receive an email basically giving you a fake username and password, and then you'll just need to create a password. But if this is your first time signing up, you're gonna have this pop-up screen that asks for your NARDS number, your National Association of Realtors number. You need this number in order to connect to realtor.com. So that's how realtor.com and this program talk. And that way, when you get a review, it will automatically sync to your realtor.com account. If you don't know how to get your NARDS number, there's a button right here that says access it here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I'm gonna use my last name and my license number because I find that's the easiest way. It, and boom, it pops up and here's my NARDS number. Just copy and paste that right there. And we're gonna go back to that screen. I'm gonna input my number and update my profile and it will populate and say, boom, it's now been activated. Now, this is your dashboard screen. Uh, ultimately, these are the syndications that can happen automatically. This button right here, encourage reviews. This requires the client to actually have a username and password for these three companies right here. So if they wanna post a review about you on Zillow, ultimately the client has to have a username and password. It doesn't just automatically happen. So that means these down here will automatically happen once they're connected. These up here require a one-step process, like a, a follow-up with your client to make sure that they go through the process. So I'll walk you through what that means. But ultimately, the moment you put your NARDS number into your realtor.com, you can see now that this is now active. 
when you come over to realtor.com and you log into your realtor.com account right here under manage profile you're going to scroll down and over here you have to make sure that your realtor.com account has your nards number inputted as well and you could see a button right here that says change your nards number and then you would input your new one in there um, so ultimately realtor.com and real satisfied talk by having that number uh, publishing on Facebook. So when it says post a testimonial to your business page, keep in mind Real Satisfied has two parts. It has a survey that goes out. The client fills out a whole survey, one through five, one through 10, asking questions like what was the market knowledge? How did your agent do about negotiations? And they'll be able to do a survey on you. At the very end of the survey that they receive, it asks them to do a testimonial. The client actually has to physically write something about you. That is the most, one of the most important things with this software. You need to get that testimonial because without the testimonial, there's no posting of this on your timeline or on Google or anything like that. It's purely just a survey that gives you a number, a ranking, but not many people out in the general public see that, that posting. So uh, you're pushing your client to get a testimonial and I'll walk you through how to do that. But let's assume you get one back by turning on this button right here, that testimonial will get posted to your business page. So if I click turn it on, it's gonna ask me to log into Facebook. The moment I log in, I'm authorizing Real Satisfied to post to my Facebook page. Same thing down here with Twitter. Click on that, it's gonna ask me to log into Twitter. Over here on Zillow, when I turn this on, it's gonna ask to put in my email address. Now what you need to do is you have to put in your email address that matches to your Zillow account. So if I type in David at Hubble team and I hit search, nothing comes up. But if I go info at Hubble real estate group, you can see that my Zillow account pulls up. So it's important that whatever your email address is with Zillow, that's what you're putting in here and then you will see your profile pop up. Um, same thing on Google. We're gonna type in Hubble Real Estate Group and we can see right here Hubble Real Estate Group Grover Beach. Boom, and I'm telling the system that that is now me and I'd be hitting okay. And then encourage customers to review on Facebook. Clicking on that, it's gonna ask for your business Facebook page. So in order to find that, you would go to Facebook, click on your home button, and right up here in the URL, this is your URL. I would copy and I would paste that right here and hit search. And you can see, boom, it is now connected to the Hubble real estate page. So again, those are the tweaks in order to make sure all of these are connected you want to have all of these accounts active. So if you don't have a Google account, what's nice over here at, over here at Hubble, uh, we actually have staff that will help you get your Google account set up. And we do classes on how to get your Google account, how to get your Zillow account. Each one of these, we have a class on, on how to do to get it set up properly. So keep, keep watching our uh, YouTube page and you'll be watching for those videos in the future. Um, Coming over here to profile, gonna click on my profile, you're gonna to wanna to make sure all of your information is filled out properly. And then my page settings, again, all of your information filled out. Do not leave any stone you know, unturned. So if you don't have a Twitter page, get one. If you don't have a LinkedIn page, get one. They're all free accounts, you just need to go and set them up. When it asks for your Facebook page, again, you're taking the top of each of those accounts, that's the URL right there. You're gonna take that and you're gonna paste it right into here. So again, you're, if, you do, if you don't have a website, you can use the Hubble's website or you can use your first name at hubblerealestategroup.com. So in my case, it would be david.hubble, oops, realestategroup.com. So that would be our company uh, website that we're offering to our agents. And then again, all your Zillow, Trulia, and uh, Yelp username and you know, your URLs there. 
So once that is all set up, you're ready to start sending invitations. So I get this a lot, Dave, do I have to do transaction in order to get a review? Uh, my quick answer, no. If you're working with a buyer or maybe you're working with a family member or a friend and they're asking you questions about real estate, that to me can be a review. They're potentially gonna be a buyer, so you can put them down on what they're potentially looking for. Right here it says send survey. You're gonna click on that and it's asking for buyer, seller, uh, maybe you didn't get a listing presentation, you wanna know why, or maybe you're asking another peer or another affiliate or someone to uh, review you. So these are your selections. Uh, put in their email address. You cannot use the same computer or email address that you registered with. So say you're having your spouse do a review for you, don't do it on the same computer that you sent the invitation from they have a quarantine system on here which basically red flags that this could be a potential bad review or not a real review and therefore they wouldn't allow you to post it so whoever does a review for you needs to do it on their computer so it doesn't get quarantined little little trick so you fill this information out and you hit send once you hit send you're going to see down here that an invitation has been sent and you're looking for the status. If it's pending or you're basically continually following up your, your client and making sure that that didn't go to spam, that they got the invitation to do the review. The moment it says complete, that's when you're gonna come back and click on that actual review. And down on the bottom, it's gonna say, so why don't we do one right now? One, two, three, ABC property. Uh, and this is David. And we're going to put hello and we're going to go david at hubbleteam.com and I'm going to hit send. Uh, and this is a peer survey. We're going to hit send. Boom. You can see now that it's been sent. So if I click on that review, it pops up and it says resend or delete it or maybe I need to update with something different or close it out. So if the client's like, I never got it, this is where you would go to resend. Once they complete it, this is right here where it's going to say, do you accept it? Do you reject it? Um, or do you want to encourage them to do, re to do more reviews? So one, you got to read what they wrote about you and make sure that it's a good review. And if you accept it, it's going to automatically post to these websites right here. So it'll go to realtor.com, it'll go to Facebook, and it'll go to Twitter instantly. It'll automatically go up on the feed. Then there'll be a button that says encourage reviews. Right here are encourage reviews. What that means is it's gonna give you a link and you're gonna to wanna to email that link back to your client and say, hey, I appreciate the review. Can you follow up and click on my link and that way you can post that review to Zillow? Because it's gonna be a two-step process that the client has to do. They have to click on your link and then it says copy your review and log into Zillow. So your client has to ultimately copy your review and log into Zillow. So if they follow the instructions, it's a very step one, step two, step three process. But by you forwarding the link that says encourage reviews, it gives them a step-by-step a -step process on what to do. And ultimately it says click here to copy, click here to log in, click here to post. And you're going to encourage your client to do those three times to do that on Zillow, Google, and on your Facebook business page, your front page on the reviews. If you could do all of that, I'll tell you the, the Zillow algorithm runs off of reviews. You get better placement when you have reviews on Zillow. So if you have five reviews, you're going to ultimately beat out like 90% of agents that have nothing. The real true superstars are the ones that have 40, 50, 60 reviews and they're posted on Zillow and you'll always find them. If someone's looking for an agent, say in Grover Beach, the person that has the higher reviews is going to show up on page one versus page two. So if you focus every month on getting a minimum of five reviews, you'll find that over six months, a year in this business, you're going to be always hitting that page one. And if that review is posted for something that happened in Pismo, that review is, the algorithm puts you a higher, higher ranking in that Pismo algorithm. So you're constantly trying to build your reviews, especially for Zillow, and then those reviews, Zillow is owned, you know, Zillow owns Trulia, yada, yada. 
those reviews get posted over on Trulia. So that kind of helps the whole snowball effect of getting it out there. Google's the same way. You get good reviews on your Google, your, out, your, your analytics to show up on the search engines are gonna be a lot higher. Um, Facebook, everybody's on Facebook. It's a quick, easy way for them to just check how you're doing. So I encourage you to, if you're not gonna use this program, use a program, but get the reviews. The, 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 the goal here is to do it once and have it syndicated out across the web. So you're not having to chase down all these websites. So I hope that helped to wrap this up. Click on this link on the top. This is actually a website dedicated just for your reviews. So I can take this on my laptop and when someone asks, well, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I can click on my review page and say, well, here you go. Or I can send it before I go on my listing presentation and let them know about me so they can do some research on me before I even show up. So this is a good, good website that you can uh, steer people over to or ultimately show people to be like, here's what the public thinks about me. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was value to you. Uh, Real Satisfied is an awesome program. So in the future, we'll be doing more videos like this to just do tips, tactics, strategies on how we're using this software. There's so much technology out there. So if you'd like to know more about what's going on, on over here at Hubble, you know, tune in, click the button below. But if you're an agent, you're interested, you want to know what's going on over at Hubble, reach out. Give me a call. Call the office, 805-864-2566. All conversations are confidential. I'd be happy to talk with you about what's going on in your business. Again, follow us, link below, click it, like it, and uh, let's go get an escrow. Thanks, guys.